Say your name. Kathy Tangen. Okay, and who are you just talking to? David Joes. Okay, you gotta speak up. David Joes. Okay, and what were you talking to him about? Uh, the fact that the appraisals are $108,000 difference back in 2006 when I inquired about a loan, and they gave a loan just to match um, the appraisal that they they had two appraisals in town in Alexandria, Bacchus appraisals, Lakes area appraisals, and they had them come in exactly the price that it would have to take to get the $156,000 loan. Okay. And then through finding out that the, the house was not valued at that, it's actually a glorified garage, no bedrooms, I looked closer at their appraisals, they listed them as three bedroom home. I started investigating. At least the one did, the Bacchus did. I started investigating and found that I needed to have two independent appraisals done that they didn't know each other, they weren't from the area, they had no vested interest. They can't came in at eighty-three thousand and ninety-four thousand, that's over a hundred thousand dollar difference. It's obviously called appraisal fraud. They just wanted to jack up the appraisal to get get the loan out there and the house had not the value anywhere near that. Okay. You want to say anything else? I lost my house because of appraisal fraud, and I'd like you to contact the bank, Bremer Bank, Bacchus Appraisals, Lakes Area Appraisals, and ask them why they did appraisal fraud, why they stole my house. Okay. Hi. Need to you? speak to David. Jose? Jose? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Need to have a pronunciation guide. Hi. David Jones is my name. Oh, I'm Kathy Tangen. Kathy, nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. Terry Numbers. Terry, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you David too. David Jones, come on yep. in, please. Yep. Terry, I know that, that I've seen something on YouTube. Mm hmm I have a hunch I know what this is going to be about. Okay. So am I doing film for this? Yes. Okay. All right. What can I help you with? I'd like to ask a few questions. There's Kathy and Terry. Terry, yes. Yeah. Correct. I'd like to ask a few questions back mm -hmm. in 2006. Here, you can have a copy for yourself. <laughs> um, came into Bremer Bank to do a real estate inquiry for a loan. And, okay. And they did two appraisals. I came in asking for a $156,000 project loan. And for 80% loan to value, it had to come in at $202,000 or right around that ballpark. Mm -hmm. And it conveniently came in exactly where it needed to come in. And I said, well, that's kind of strange because it's a glorified garage. There's no bedrooms in it even. And so back um, in 2010, after some of the controversy over this appraisal fraud and all the things that happened with the banking, I had two independent appraisals done. They didn't know each other. And they did the comps for 2006, so they used all the same numbers. And they came up with $108,000 or more. Um, one came in at $94,000, the other one came in at $83,000. So, Kathy, this is so, your property. Yeah, is this that is right? the property. <clears throat> nothing has changed. I mean, you can see by the pictures, nothing's changed. But So, I mean, that's a $108,000 difference. Compared to 2012. Well, this this From little picture, this little picture right here is about just the for sale. This is the person that has it for sale right now. Yeah. Who's so who's see. recently dropped it from one hundred seventeen thousand to one hundred four thousand after we stopped in and talked to him about the same situation. So, so these are the the bank. After we found out that the bank hadn't been or the Fannie Mae hadn't been paying their taxes either, we brought that up to him also. Yeah. They're so delinquent. This, just these two are the bank appraisals. This is one um, picture of the. The one independent appraisal that was done for the same year, and it's a hundred eight thousand dollar difference. So this is your property, correct? Is, is what you're saying? Yes. And this is your information. You came into Bremer to get a loan. We we employed these appraisals. These two appraisals. And 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 frankly, in two thousand six, what was going on? That's not the point. No, the thing no. is, it's a retro appraisal for two thousand six. These guys did it. That's what we asked them. We didn't tell them what was going on. 
So that's what they did. They did the appraisal back in 2006. No, no, no. It's a, it's a retro appraisal. No, no. What did you say? Okay. These two top, top pictures are the, are the client was Bremer Bank. And it was done the in 2000. was Bremer Bank. Well, it says right here. Client. The client was Bremer Bank. But they from were From Bacchus. From Mike's. From Mike, Mike Wars. Wars. And Bacchus, Bacchus appraisals mm -hmm. and yeah, Mike yeah. Wars, which but are right you, here. But you were the owner. You were the client. I'm the owner. You're the owner. In. Yep. And these appraisals were done back in 2006. Correct. Right. And That's not what you said. I said these were retro appraisals for 2006. That's what I said. They can do you this. Can this do gentleman back has said that there was three bedrooms in the home, and there are no bedrooms you can in the do home. An appraisal. Well, you know, here, here's the situation, guys. You know there there is so many regulations regarding appraisals. We cannot call up one person, whether it's ABC Realty or Lee Backus or Lakes Area Appraisal or whatever. Maybe today, we can't but do you that. could then. Even even uh, oh, no, 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 Backus not, Appraisal not, says it was a free for all back then. Not not in 2006. We were we were basically randomly going to appraisers back then, much to everybody. Yeah, but they knew what is, they had to come in at to get the kind of loan that you wanted to give. They knew exactly what they needed to come in on the appraisal to get the loan that you guys are trying to and get. And I'm sure that they have a comp. Do you have a copy of the appraisal, mm -hmm. Kathy? Yeah, I have I'm all, sure, all of them. And I'm sure you do. And if you look on the comp level, I'm sure it had a comps to say, according to this recent sale over here, this sold for this. According to this recent sale, yeah, but they said here, that this, this has three bedrooms. This. It has zero. According even, to this recent sale, right? Take a look. Take a look at the appraisal. No, right. but they lied about the bedrooms. There's no bedrooms in it. There's See, zero. If, if you're even the realtor is listing this as a zero bedroom home right now today. I'd like to see the appraisal. Maybe that that would be probably well. You better. you have them in your possession. There, I, I don't have them. In my Could possession. we come? Well, I mean, you're, you're, I'm talking about I'm your sure your bank. That I so could probably produce them, but I, I don't. Could have we them come in with the appraisal? get an honest answer of what happened. What's the, what's the answer? I mean, what are you... It's well, I mean, fraud. the, the no, thing is, is yeah, there... Yeah, I don't think it is called. Is, is there... Called are there three fraud. bedrooms in the home or aren't there three show bedrooms the, in the home? Show me the appraisals. I'd love to take a look at the appraisals to see what the comps are. I would love to see that. Well, the thing is, like well, we said, your your individual backus said there was three three bedrooms in there. The guy who's selling it now says there are no bedrooms in there. What are, you, are you insinuating that I asked Lee Backus? To I, we're that? not insinuating anything. We're just saying this is the reality of the situation. You gave a loan based on information that does not match reality. Oh, I think it matches reality based on the appraisal that we got. Then why well, are you the, selling it today? Yeah, well, see, there's something called creative report writing, too. So mm -hmm. if someone comes up with a creative report, yeah. that, that is reality because it's written on pieces of paper. Yeah. Mr. So the Nemer, I think you're really it's Nemers actually. Nemers. Mr. Then why Nemers, they, I think you're really serious. Why would they sell it? I really do. Okay. Not, hey, just hang on. Let me just just let him just okay. let him finish, okay? I really think that this is something that you're searching for somebody's at fault. There's nobody at fault here. Really, there's nobody at fault. Okay. The client came in, got a loan. This is what she wanted, and you know, basically, it, it got done based on the appraisal. That's how we we don't borrow well, our money. Sure. We borrow if, the deposit. Like I said, money. if you come up with a a creative report, you're gonna loan out the money based on the creative report. The thing is, if she brought in these numbers, that uh, ninety four thousand, what was the other eighty three thousand? Would she have gotten a hundred and fifty six thousand dollar loan? Well, listen. Uh, that's you that, know, we're, we're, that's the reality we, of we it. We do business on an ethical standard. I require that from all my loan officers, mm -hmm. from all my employees. If that is not happening, I want to know about it. I don't know. I need to see the appraisal a little bit more. I want to do some more digging. Well, see, that's why all this information is on here, so you can certainly contact no, no, no. these other individuals if you like. Well, this, so, is so you, this is the first time you gave me this. Well, is that's, that correct? That's fine. But Well, actually, I'm sure that you've been contacted by, uh, what was the guy who's selling the place? ERA Realty. ERA Realty. No, I haven't been. Well, you know, it's kind of funny because we just were at the other appraiser, uh, Mike Roars, yeah, okay. and it appears that he knew I was going to be wearing a camera because he was dancing around me trying to avoid being on camera. Okay? I'm not going to avoid anything because I, I got nothing to hide. Right. I got nothing to hide. And it, it's, uh, we do business on an ethical basis. Mm -hmm. 
and if, if the client sits down, tells us exactly what they have, and that is truthful, we got nothing to hide. We're well, that's I can't that's, tell you the appraisal person goes in there and appraises the property. He looks at the property. I don't tell him how to appraise and do his business. He appraises the property what it's supposed to be appraised at, but it was really convenient that he appraised it exactly at the price that I needed it to come in at to get the loan that I was inquiring about. And I was shocked because it, it is a glorified garage. There's no bedrooms. There's no um, closets. It's, it's actually a garage. It's all open. And I was thinking, how could they possibly appraise this? You know how hard it is to get a house to appraise for $202,000? In today's environment? Uh, well, a garage. Back then, well, that's what I'm saying. I would like to know what the comps were. Well, well I'll tell you what. How about we set up an appointment? No, I'm you not can. I, I will research it. I will look up the uh, appraisal. Yeah, but you won't be able to see these because I have those. I mean, no, I understand. I'm, I'm more interested in this. This is what your point well, is. Right. Well, obviously. So Out you're of the 202. You yeah. have to be a 202. And, and here's another appraisal couple down 195. Well, I guarantee it says three there's, bedrooms on them. <laughs> there's, there's 202 and there's 195. And, and they should have pictures. Yeah. I'd, I'd want to see those. I'd want to see those. So, like I said, I. No one's out here to do, I mean, I, we don't do business that way. Yeah. Then, then why don't you want to set up a time to discuss all of them? We'll, you know how about we could bring the other two, you could bring your two, and we could sit here all afternoon and discuss mm -hmm. how they don't match up. I'm not going to do that. Well, I, I understand why. I, absolutely. I'm not going to, I want to research what I feel is important. Right, and because I, you I'm only want to. I probably should ask you to write, you know, for privacy issues right now, too. In reality. You agree? You agree? Do whatever you want. Yeah. I just want the truth out there. That's what I'd like. I, I want to do some research. Contact me later on. I'll give you my card. And we'll go from there. Fair enough? That'd be great. Actually, I prefer to set up the time, but I, he doesn't want to do that. So. I really don't want to do that right now. No, right. Because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get the information. This is back in 2006. But you don't think right. this, have to do some but research. You don't think right. You know right. But then what you're so saying you're is this licensed appraiser down here... It's doesn't know it. So he's, when, did, he's when, did he, when did he do this appraisal? He did it in it's, The date is right on here. Retro appraisal 1019 2006. So, so, appraisal date so is. Hindsight is 2020. Is that what you're telling no, me? Uh, well, are you saying not. that these guys can't do a retro appraisal? That's what they were asked to do. Mm -hmm. they, a lot of appraisals in the banking industry today throughout the whole United States were doing appraisals. Where something was worth two hundred thousand, and today it's only worth a hundred thousand. But this is a garage it's across the USA. Right, but garage. according to these, it says that they were only worth ninety three and eighty three thousand, ninety four thousand, eighty three thousand. Yeah, ninety four and eighty. So approximate Let me numbers. Take a look at it and, and uh, contact me back. Well, I appreciate it. You really dig into it. I will. Honestly. I will. I, if I tell you what I'm going to do, I, I will do it. Okay. Just not set up an appointment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not, you're, you're going to dub this so you just did, exactly how you want it. If you did it, find so. a discrepancy... Well, I, I think that any any normal person would notice I, that... I need, to do, the two, I need to have some more facts in front of me. Information is key. But I'm just saying, right if you now. found a discrepancy... Well, he's already been presented with do? discrepancies. Um, let's, let's just wait until we do some research. He fact, fi fact finding is everything. You, would you agree? Well, it didn't take us very long to find out the facts, so... Well, I, I don't know if that's yeah, I, what I, you're seeing. See, yeah, I think you need to do a lot more research here. I really could do. easily be. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll provide it for us. I'm sure, I, I'm sure I'll have my side of the story. There you go. There you go. No. Okay. Thank, thank you very much for your time. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, I think here's my card. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.